Okay, hello everybody. So let's go for another video. Let's do another video with the camcorder today. It's the same day as when I was driving, but I'm going to post this on Tuesday. Unfortunately, this won't be a driving blog, but um, it's in the same spirit because it's something I thought of earlier. What I was going to say was, um, you know, another good tip for when you're trying to go raw, really a transitional tip is what this is, is um, instead of jumping right into it 100 percent, you know, take it easy. And here's an idea that you can use for transitioning to raw diet, or if you are going the other way, from a raw diet. I'm not going that way, but I will, I will show you like a, what I'll call a high raw quote unquote fish. Um, and here's the tip. Think about um, sauces, okay? A lot of good foods have sauces. You know, spaghetti has sauce. Other things have sauce. I guess not a lot, but a lot of, some things actually do uh, use sauces. So you have the food and then the sauce. So what you can do when you're going raw is you can think of, you can either try changing to a raw, you know, the food, for, such as a pasta, or uh, use a raw sauce. So in this example, I'm just going to show you a real quick sauce. What I have here is a little, I don't know, this is my phone. I don't hope you guys can see this. This is a little tiny food processor because Wendy has mine in Portland right now, uh, ours in Portland right now. And uh, so this is this was my mom. What I put in here is just a couple of raw, just tomatoes. Just a second, let me knock my cat off the counter. That'll be not loud up there. Anyway, that cat. A uh, couple of tomatoes, uh, Anaheim pepper, a serrano pepper, and a couple of, I put two cloves of garlic. So there's two tomatoes and some spices, some coriander. Uh, some cumin and some salt. So basically, you put all that in your food processor. It's almost like a basic salsa, and you just um, you would just grind it up. So see how this works with this little guy. It doesn't take long. You're supposed to have two hands, but I'm holding the camera. With them. So let's see. Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay, so what we have here. Then is a raw sauce. Now, what you can you put that? This is a salsa, and here's what I'm going to put it on. Let me show you. Here's the sauce. Let me see if you can see that. There we go. So that's basically just tomatoes and uh, garlic, and you know you can put an onion in there or something. So then what I have here is a bowl of black beans. You know, it's just a plain can of black beans, uh, heated up. That's all it is. Just put them in some boiling water for a, uh, some hot water for a minute or two. Oops, to heat the thing. And so what you have here basically is a, a raw sauce mixed in with cooked beans. You know, so you know whether or not you think beans are bad for you. Well, I've been eating them every now and then lately. And you know, what's even better than I mean, I like them. I, I, they, they don't bother me. I, I'm of the opinion that they're that they're not evil, like I used to think, because they were cooked. I think they're just kind of normal food, and they're pretty innocuous. And you know, they're full of fiber and protein and all that kind of stuff. But what I really meant to show, besides like arguing about whether it's cooked or not, is you can actually still incorporate a lot of raw foods into your diet if you do eat some cooked foods. Uh, for example, you might put a little rice in there, and some rice and beans, and then a raw sauce. Um, you could do the same thing. Now I don't. I'm kind of staying away from wheat. I don't really eat wheat, but let's say you're eating pasta and you wanted to make it a little more healthy. Um, and let's say wheat doesn't bother you and you're having your pasta. Make a raw sauce. Same kind of thing, except for in, instead of using the Mexican spices, use some Italian spices. Excuse me. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. You know, put some oregano in there. Um, and uh, geez, what else goes? Some garlic still would be very good. Kind of actually a similar type of sauce. But uh, just more Italian spices, maybe some basil would be, would be nice. And then put that on top of your pasta. So instead of eating the jarred ragu, you know, that's been cooked and, and, and you know, you know, canned, it's pretty much dead food. You get some live food on your um, on your pasta. So that's a great way to transition over. Think of the sauces and and do that. And here again, if you, but if you have to have your ragu, for example, or your prego or whatever, let's say that's your favorite food, you're just not ready to give that up. Well, okay, think about the pasta then. You know, you could you could uh, 
get one of those pasta spiralizers. Look on our blog for that. You can search our blog for all kinds of raw recipes and, and raw pasta. If you just search for that, I'm sure you'll find a whole bunch of videos on that. Uh, where either Wendy or me are, is, will be making um, raw pasta with beets or carrots or zucchini or something like that. So you could do that and then add your, your canned sauce on top of that. So uh, what I'm getting at is you could, you know, you could just start incorporating more raw into traditional dishes and that's a great way to get better nutrition. So my cat's jumping up on me. I think she wants to uh, have a taste or something. I don't know. But I'll let you go until tomorrow. And actually tomorrow, I'm still going to be standing here tonight because I have another idea for a video. So I'm going to do that in a couple of minutes, but I'll post that on Wednesday. So take care, everybody. This is Jim from Pure Jeevan. Take care.